Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some fun. Well, I'm almost positive in 1922 we didn't have roll pin technology because, you know, this is a, a very specific kind of steel. But I measured and measured and measured these holes, and it, it is a straight hole right through the center. So, um... I'm thinking, hey, it's roll pin or something like that. So we're going to just drill it straight through and um, go from there. Start with a pilot drill, of course. Okay, and then we're going to go up to a number 32, but I actually, it looks to me like this hole and this hole are different. This hole is 32 because it's the taper pin, but this hole is much bigger. So we're going to take it up to the size of this hole, although it looks pretty egg-shaped. Hmm... Well, we'll get an average and see what we got. So we're looking at 265 or 6. And this way... Well, it's not egg shaped. 265. So, 265 drill bit. <sighs> 1764s. Let's go get it. <clears throat> All right, so we'll go uh, we'll go halfway because this is 4140, and the last thing I want to do is snap off a drill bit because I was in a rush. All right, we got that one. So I think um, what we want to do is uh, we're going to put the pulley, or I mean the uh, impeller on, because we have to press it on, and uh, it might slip on, but we need to get it in the exact right spot. And the impeller faces that way. So uh, I think what we want to do is bring the impeller in, figure out where that exact spot is, mark it, and then put some kind of sleeve down below it so that when if the impeller goes on smoothly and evenly, 
without pressing it, then uh, we can just drop it on. Now what I'm going to do is heat that impeller up so that the hole opens up and then see if we can just drop it on. But for now, we've got plenty of, plenty of room to move around here and get everything just right. And I think what we want to do Well, one thing for sure is I don't know if this is just completely worn away or if it was made thinner, but what we're going to do is figure out what our overall width is, which is 741. And our overall width here is seven or er, eight hundred. Seven forty one and eight hundred. So we need to take about um, what sixty thousandths off of this outside surface. So I think we should do that first uh, before we start messing around. And just by luck, we have six impellers and three jaws, and there's just just barely enough room to reach in there and grab that that inner diameter and get this thing we're going to get it squared up a little bit and um, although that looks pretty good uh, but we'll get it better than that we'll come back all right well uh looks like we're off about 40 or 50 thousandths, I think it's going to be an easy fix. So uh, I think that might be our high. Let's get it just a little tighter. Okay, well, let's just keep messing with this until we get it right. Well, we're within three or four at this point. Let's tighten this up. One or two, I can live with that. I'm going to snug it down just a little bit more. I think we're good. So. We're going to take about 40 thousandths out of this. And how can we do that? Okay, this top edge is pretty consistent. So, We're sitting at 600 or 800 so we want to come down to 760 
All right, 65. So let's just take a little bit of a cleanup cut here. Come back this direction. I like it. And we're down to 162. And I can live with that. Alright, so let's take this out. Let's go back over and see what we can do. Okay, so what I've done is I uh, went and got a drill bit that was pretty close to the, to the right size. And uh, now we get to measure. And come up with the exact size that we want or exact location that we want that thing to land in. So we're gonna come up to that and go to the edge. And our location is four and a half inches. That's not bad. So let's get a little dicum on that. Somewhere in there. Okay, four and a half inches from there to uh, right there. Let's take this thing out. And there's our line. So, the way we're going to drop this in I think it's better to come this way. And the first thing we got to do is get rid of those burrs there. Let me do that. Okay, let's just just a quick go around with that. Of course, it is 4140, so it's not going to go easy. And I think we're going to have to get a file, kind of knock that edge down just a little bit. All right, so. That looks pretty good. And that feels pretty good too. All right, so now we've got, we're gonna bring this thing down from here down to there and we want to come down real fast and we want to get right to that line and we want it to be done so uh, what I think I'm gonna do is go ahead and drop the V block in right where we want this thing to stop like right about there let's um, 
tighten it up a little bit. Yep, that looks good. Fairly tight. We're going to, basically, we're going to set it in the press with something below it to hang on to it. And then uh, heat this up pretty warm to get this to open up and then hopefully just drop straight down on top of it. Now that could work or it may not work. It's, it's a 50-50 deal. But I, in the meantime, I've got to go to breakfast. What I'm going to do is take this shaft down to the house, put it in the freezer, and then when I get ready to come back up here, it, it'll be nice and cold, and I'll come up, heat this thing up real quick, boom, pop it on, and hopefully we're done. Okay, well, uh, the same guy who wanted me to um, repair his water pump for his 1922 L car also wants me to make a couple of knobs for the doors. Now the original knob, and I'll, I'll show it to you a little later, uh, I think it was made of aluminum. And aluminum in 1922 was highly expensive material. Uh, so I was surprised to see. And it's, uh, it's very uh, fragile and really bad castings. And you know, it's like they had the, the whole technology was was just barely there. Um, you know, of course, once they figured out aluminum, uh, it became fairly inexpensive and easy to deal with. Okay, let's make a couple of knobs. And I've got the, uh, uh, the um, tracer attachment hooked up. And so, and I've got the original knob in the tracer attachment. And so we're going to do the contour in brass and uh, he'll be happy. Well, okay, right away I blew it because uh, I uh, didn't turn the tracer attachment on. <laughs> so we're going to go cut that end off, put a new center in there, reset this, and go off and run around again. Uh, okay, we're back. Disaster averted. Uh, back online. Ready? Go. All right, that looks pretty good, uh, except I think I want to bring this bit around head on because it looks like it's back cutting these parts here. I mean, it still looks very good. And I think my customer would be totally happy with it, but the question is, am I happy? So uh, we're going to back this up just a little bit. We're going to rotate our our bit until it's at a 90 we're gonna have to reset our uh, our piece in the back not a big deal 
especially since we're not going for super accurate we're just going for design I say easy peasy come on Okay, since the, since the master fell out, I can show it to you. And you can kind of see it there. Very rough casting, but I swear it's aluminum. And as I said, 1922, this was, this was almost the price of gold. So, uh, there we go. Let's put that back in. And since we're here, I'm going to turn this thing around and do it from the opposite direction because it has a hole in it. That goes into the, uh, the door handle and I didn't allow for that hole. So, I get to change two things around here. Alright. We're going to take this out. We're going to cut that down. We're going to get rid of that. Uh, you know, we'll keep it for something. I don't know what. But, uh... Let's give this thing another try. And we'll be back. Okay, so we're chucked up and ready to go. We're just going to square up the... just the inside surface because anything out beyond that is going to go away there we go oh what the hell we'll do the whole thing okay and then we want to put a center hole in here just the starter hole Because we're going to drill a what are we gonna drill? wrench. should be enough I'm thinking quarter 20 tap
brassy, squeaky stuff. Alright, we're going to put just a little bit of Well, that did help. And I think that's going to do the trick. Well, I know one way, one reason why it's squeaking is because I'm using a bottom tap or a plug tap. Yeah. So that's in far enough, I think. Now what we need to do is come in and put a little chamfer on that end so we can uh, so we can. Uh, So we can chuck it up and in the uh, tracer attachment. There we go. Just a little bit of a break there. Okay, we got one. Let's take it back over to the big lathe and. Uh, create a contour. Okay, we've got the whole design turned around so that the uh, the bolt hole is at this end and then the design will go that way and I think we're all set up, I believe. So let's give it a try. Turn on the pump, turn on the lathe. 